Here we are in the Namib Nakhleff Desert. All the campsites here are beautiful. They all have raked gravel, running water that we can drink, bathroom with a flush toilet, shower with hot and cold water. It has no electricity, which is probably the first time we've been to a campsite without electricity. Also, this campsite has a great view. I just wanted to talk a little bit about how people in Africa seem to ask for more tips and ask for more gifts unexpectedly. Once they find out we're Americans, yeah. they seem to want or expect really large tips. They also ask for free money sometimes. We were getting a ticket to go into a new national park and we were just buying the ticket at the, you know, at the counter in the little ranger's office and the guy's like hey how about a christmas present you know because yeah. he was looking at the cash we were using to pay and i think he just wanted us to give him some of the money i mean kind of makes sense because a lot of very wealthy tourists from the affluent countries come here and spend their money and but unfortunately we are not poor tourists yeah we're also <laughs> living a little bit outside of our goals right yeah. now yeah, Namibia, By being here. Namibia is a little bit more expensive. Usually we try to spend $50 a day per person, and we're probably at about $75, $80 a day per person, yeah. if not more. So, we feel bad because we know... We can't tip as much if we want to make it all the way around the world. Here we are in the Namib Mountain Zebra National Park, about to go on a hike. We found the mountain zebras! The elusive mountain zebras. They run away and they have lots more stripes, so they're better. Here we are at the top of the mountain. Morgan has been drinking way too much caffeine and she has a caffeine buzz, so all her fingers and her nose are probably tingling. And she's been drinking up all of our water. Hey, we're almost halfway done. Really? No, probably not. We've probably hiked a kilometer. No, it's been like three. One Sandifer kilometer. We made it to the top of the plateau. Barely. Here we go. We got to a part of the canyon where you have to walk and hold onto the chain and shimmy across, yeah. Assassin's Creed style. We'll see how well this goes. If the next video is up being wet, we didn't make it. <sighs> this isn't sketchy at all. Stay sure footed. Okay. This is a hard move. Do you see the foothold? Yep. That's your ticket. There you go, you're in. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I was a little worried there for a second, but she made it. That was kind of crazy. That was really crazy. <laughs> A lot of fun. Yeah, we just went to the reception area at this the park. After after our did, first hike. After our first hike. We were gonna go pay for a day of hiking and go on a second hike, which we're going on now. And we busted out our lunch at one of the tables in front of the reception. There was also more tables in front of like a little bar and little more tables on the inside that was a restaurant. Nobody was sitting at the table. No one was sitting at any of the tables. And she walked out and told us that it was going to cost us $180. No, 190. 190. 190. To sit at the freaking picnic table. Just to sit at a table. Not to be served food at the table. But it was so dumb. Just wanted to show off. This is at the end of our hike. We came to a really cool swimming hole. Yeah. Is it time to go for a jump? Oh, that was close. Almost 
lost those sunglasses. Whew! Alright, I'll jump right after. Okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> you did it. You did. Just wanted to do a video of what it looks like to set up our camp and get dinner going. <laughs> and that's how we put up our tent. Good morning. We are currently driving to Susana Bay, which is where all of the massive sand dunes made of this like bright red sand um, and it's beautiful out here. We also have a gorgeous paved smooth road mm -hmm. that you're only allowed to go 16 kilometers long which yeah. is painful. It's hard. But yeah today we're gonna go try and climb some dunes. Hopefully it's not too hot. We didn't get as early of a start as we planned partially because our car alarm kept going off in the middle of the night and there was nobody trying to break in. There were no animals in the car, we have no idea why it was going off. We're gonna go see how many dudes we can Here we are at Susaville. We are walking to the base of the biggest dune that we're gonna climb first. Big Daddy! Check this out. That one. That one right up there. Are those the beetles you're talking about? Maybe. I think they are. Look at their butts and their backs. Yeah, they're all like shiny. Those beetles in the early morning climb to the top of the dunes, pick their butt up in the air, and the moisture condensates, runs down to their mouth so they can drink water. Morgan told me. Yeah, I told him that. And look how far we went. Not very far. I was sure there was going to be water here, but this it dried up. I'm so thirsty. Water break! Water. We made it to the top of Big Daddy. Big Daddy! This place looks like Mars. It's just dunes, as far as the eye can see. But they're like red dunes, and they have black coming through them. And then you have like these white patches. You ready to go? We are ready to go. Do it. Okay. I'll meet you like halfway. Okay. Yeah, I figured he'd want to do that. Here we go. Your face is all sandy.
can't tell elevation in GoPro videos, but it's steep. Oh. Here's the best way to do it. This is flat right now. Yeah. This is how steep it is. My shoes are full of sand. I'm full of sand. <sighs> yeah. Here we are enjoying our very last meal in Namibia. It was hot so we came back and took a last dip in the swimming hole by, in the river by our campsite. Rustin, what was your favorite part of Namibia? Estosha Park, taking pictures of all the animals. That was amazing. Uh, I think my favorite part might have also been Atosha when the elephant came and rubbed his trunk on our car. That was scary. <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be a long day of travel. Anyway, we'll see you in Cairo.